Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to the channel if you are new and welcome back if you're already a subscriber. In today's video, we are going to be setting up um, and working on a plan with me in real time for this particular week, which is December the 11th through the 17th. So this is kind of the week before Christmas goodness madness and I really didn't know what I wanted to put down originally like I didn't know if I wanted to do like kind of another Christmas theme or if I wanted to kind of take a break and do a different theme I ultimately decided on this super cute winter critters 2.0 style week because the temperatures have dropped like and clearly I'm having an issue with washi what is happening you guys um but the temperatures have dropped a lot this particular week and it's like literally in the 20s when I get up and I'm not about that <laughs> that's just not my fave and um I really just kind of wanted to go off of that because my next week's washi is very Christmassy, and then after that, it's kind of like um, the seasonal wrap-up. So, I really just wanted to get a chance to use this in my 2023 planner because it's super cute and it's still really new to me. Also, it was going to let me play with some more colored inks, and I am really loving colored inks lately, as you can see from some of these spreads. I'm just, I'm really enjoying it. So I'm going to be using the Uniball 1 um, Nemophila, Nemophila, Nemophila. That's so bad. Blue, and it's a Uniball 1. And then I'm also going to be using a Uniball Signo DX in the dark gray. Um, I originally was thinking about black, but I felt like that would be too harsh. And the cappuccino brown I've used in the last couple spreads skips really bad and it's super light. So it just, I was fed up with it. <laughs> um, I know I said that it's super cold, um, but I will pop in the actual temperatures in a little while. I just haven't got to it. Um, and I haven't... Oh, it's also Tuesday, by the way. Um, I am gonna pop in my tarot. Super strange, but I did get the same tarot card two days in a row. I typically only do a one card pull unless something's a little weird. Um, I do have tea and tarot Tuesday later, and I might mark it down on here so I don't forget, but I really would like to have Renee pull a bonus card during that, and maybe let's see if I can shed some light on it. Um, I am going to carry the same crystals as yesterday, which are Malachite, Leopard Skin, Rhyolite, and Amethyst. Um, I think I might carry the Malachite and just the Amethyst today just to decrease a little bit and also leave room for that. I know that we're about to go into new moon in Sagittarius, I believe. And so I'll be doing like a bigger spread for that. Um, so I want to leave room. I really love this light blue as well. I do need to go ahead and pick a nice pretty light blue. or gray and or gray. I might pull that gray too. Let's see which blue I want to use. I'm going to use this lovely and I'm going to set these in order. That's one thing about having like a daily pages that I really do enjoy is just like an extra kind of like scrap space if you will to play in but you also can kind of like apply it to what you were actually doing that day it's not just like a random scrap of paper so I like this because I can figure out what I want to use I think it's definitely the 
this one and then I can't tell if I want to do a gray or like a brown I feel like the brown might allow that like little super cute moves to pop I'm gonna do this color combo. This is real time planning for you right here. Oh, and this is kind of like a little sneak too of like how my daily pages get used like when I have to do like back planning or something like that. So that's kind of like, I went ahead and did all this before I turned the camera on. Like it's my bigger to-do list and like more broken out to-do list as well. Okay, so I want to use I'm gonna use the brown for watching, I think, just to give me a little pop. Um, I decided to take a break from my <laughs> binging of Christmas movies a little bit yesterday morning and take a quick break and just do um, a little bit of charms in the morning. That's usually like my background thing while I'm tidying up the house. And then I continued on with watching, I think it's Deb versus Heard. Um, while I was at work, it was just kind of, like I said, my background noise. I don't remember what season I'm on. So I'm just gonna write charmed dot dot S so that I remember to put what season. I think it's four is what I'm on. And then I worked on Tidying the apartment. I didn't get to start laundry yesterday or work on the kitchen. I actually kind of woke up late. Um, my alarm went off and I rolled over and normally I don't go back to sleep, but I did unfortunately. So that was a little stressful. I'm gonna put this office, actually, I'm gonna put it right here so that it goes over two days. And I'm gonna do Comfern calls mainly because I know it'll fit. I ended up not having to do scheduling calls because I actually have no calendar <laughs> to work off of. Like basically we have one day that we can schedule people for the rest of the year. So I have to hold on those calls until next week. So I just wanna put that on there and draw a line through it. And I know that probably sounds really weird, but like when I'm looking back, for the same reason I did it in my A6. I'd really like to see that. Um, then I printed appointment materials. I had quite a bit going on in the office. And like I said, I was running late a little bit and that was just not like me. And so I couldn't quite um, I'm going to put Jones 1214 because there's two different Joneses in flux right now. Um, oh, I didn't know what that little squeaky sound was there. For, it's a bird. Wow. That was weird. Um, but I just felt like I was really behind the eight ball all day. And I'm sure you guys can relate like whenever you get started, um, and everything's just a little bit off. And then I had barely gotten into the office before some clients came in a little bit earlier than I expected them. And then I was still trying to do everything else. It was just, it was super chaotic. Um, definitely not ideal whatsoever. Um, and then from there, I'm gonna take a minute and just put a swatch for death versus herd. And then, like I said, I didn't finish it. I'll actually finish it this morning. Um, and while we're talking about letting things dry, um, I'm gonna do that. A little 
little icon situation. And then I want to put a sticker for groceries. I don't know if I'll have like seasonal ones or if I have to look for those in a separate space. I definitely have my winter ones set in a separate part of the notebook. I'm really tempted to use some of these, but like it's, it would overlap kind of weird. I swear these snowmen are gonna last me a thousand years. Um, I'm gonna do a winter little grocery and I'm gonna actually put it here because I might have to go for groceries today as well so and it's weird because normally I'd start over here but just in the avenue of conserving stickers and not using them exorbitantly I'm gonna put groceries and meds because that's what I did and then Jeff actually surprised me, which is why I didn't get to do laundry and kitchen. Jeff came over last night and we watched Krampus and he cooked some chicken and I went on a rant. Um, <laughs> just, it's fine. Um, I just went on a total rant. Um, I am going to consult that little list again and do... I'm going to do a gray, actually. So this is in 9.5, but I'm going to do that for the water tracker down here. But yeah, I kind of went on a rant, and then I wasn't hungry, and I'd had a really big lunch anyway, so it wasn't that like big of an ordeal, but still, I was just like, man, I'm, I'm over this. Let's watch this movie. Um, so... Up versus I think I'm spelling this wrong oh well and then we watched Krampus which he had never seen I have seen and I've actually gone to a haunted house uh, Universal did one uh, many years ago that I went through as you can see this is kind of like uh, really not super full most of the day was um, work and just trying to power through as much as humanly possible. Um, I did bill pay several bills yesterday. So I'll put those down in there. And then I'm gonna do film plan with me Monday through Wednesday. Yes, we're gonna go ahead and film a, or put a little bit of Wednesday in there. Okay. I'm gonna do tidy apartment. Jeff at least took care of the dishes. I'm going to put down laundry and kitchen without check marks. I may or may not get to those today only because of the fact I'm not sure if I'm going to be home or not. Um, plans are kind of up in the air. go ahead and give it to you. It doesn't need it, but I, a lot of the things that I have to do in the office today are 
uh, kind of long-winded, so I don't need a bunch of space. So I'm gonna do Jones for twelve fourteen, and then I've got Jones twelve twenty eight. So like I said, two different Jones. That's completely fine. And then I'm gonna do spreadsheet work today a little bit ahead of time. And I'm gonna work on allocations. The December PR list. And that's all I need for that. I want to do a lot of uh, planner update stuff today while I have time in between activities. So I think kind of going off of like the winter theme, I definitely want to use some super cute. I was gonna try to move it to the other side, but because I put the X's down already, I kinda can't do that. It's okay. Update planners. And I definitely wanna work on 2024 setup. to do another watching line. I don't know if I'm gonna end up needing another because I don't know what I'm gonna watch. So I'm gonna take this one with me today for sure. Um, and I think that's gonna do it for Tuesday. Like I said, I may or may not be home. Um, it's just kind of dependent on where Jeff's plans land for the day. Um, if he ends up staying the night at my house or if I end up staying the night here, by myself or going to him. So everything's kind of up in the air. Um, and then I want to go ahead and put a workout sticker on tomorrow just to like further encourage me to actually do so. But I do have to grab that from another place. I definitely feel like I struggle a good bit with pre-planning because sometimes obviously plans change and I get really nervous that I'm gonna pop something down and then something's gonna happen and like get in the way, if that makes sense. Cause I feel like that happens to me pretty often. So, um, I'm gonna go with this like blue thing for the workout. It might end up up here, but this is fine. I don't love it here, but I'm gonna do it there. Um, the other thing that I want to do is one, two, three, four, five, six. I do want to put a wine Wednesday situation here, but I don't know what the wine is yet. Um, I don't know if it's red or white and I have a Modis for both. So I think I'm going to wait on that. Again, I'm like the worst pre-planner 
in the history of pre-planners. Pre um, again, I'm really, I'm kind of like at an impasse. Like I know with work kind of what's gonna happen more or less, like really work tomorrow is gonna be quite minimal. I'm hoping, like I'm hoping to work on some like cards and wrap up all my spreadsheets and really just like take a breath and look ahead at a lot of things. So now I'm sorry to disappoint that I am gonna leave it alone, but we can go ahead and pop in and probably misspell for the second time. Depp versus hurt. I'm starting to think it's this paper too because I swear this these pens don't jump on my other. But that is where I'm going to leave you guys for the first planning session. So we've got the Winter um, Critters 2.0 washi. As far as Tombows, we're using 451 as my little YouTube icon, which came out a little bit darker than I had hoped, admittedly. I'm going to use N95 for my water tracker, and then for my watching tabs, I'm going to use 992. Um, I might try to dig into my stash and see if I have like some cute other, like from the Icy Wonderland collection that might be able to make their way in here. Um, and I'm gonna leave this empty just because I don't know where the evening is gonna take me quite yet. So I think this is a good place to stop and I will catch you guys in the next planning session. Hello, hello. Well, here we are on Saturday. Go figure. Um, you will notice I've already popped in the weather for every day except for Sunday, obviously, and the same with my tarot spreads except for Friday because I skipped Friday. A lot of times if I'm home, I don't necessarily do them. <laughs> um, like if I'm remote or I just kind of get caught up in things and the flow of the day, I just sometimes don't get to it. So we are going to start from there. Obviously you see the water tracker in there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and check off that I did get a workout in. I tried out like a new little workout thing. It's just something I found on Pinterest, nothing really fancy. It was, I just literally typed in like hourglass workout just to kind of move my body a little bit differently because my hip is still completely killing me. So that was just delightfully unpleasant. As far as Wednesday goes, I was remote and it was not exactly the most laid back relaxing remote day. Um, I'm really not a big fan of that happening. Um, yeah, that's <laughs> definitely, oh, that's not the set that I wanted. Um, I do wanna grab this set while I'm looking at it. Um, I really want to use this little today sticker with the star on it very badly, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. I don't know if I can do it. I really want to. Um, we'll leave it out. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know that I can part with it. I've been hoarding it for literally almost a year now. You would think that I'd be able to let go of it, but that's what happens when you only have one sheet of that. Um, the first thing I obviously want to find is a winter working emoji. I would like a winter critter. There they are. Okay, so kind of keeping with the theme here a little bit, I actually think the bear would be really cute with all the blue handwriting too, but I think because of the blue handwriting, I'm gonna go ahead and use a penguin. And I'm just gonna pop it right in here. and start using my blue. I wish I had a pencil board out. Sorry about that. 
can do nothing about the traffic. Maybe that'll help a little bit. I'm just gonna pop a sticker sheet. I packed up a bunch of my stuff because I'm gonna go to Jeff's after I film this. Um, and I'll edit it and post it from there, which I'll explain why I'm not finishing all the way through the week because it's obviously Saturday evening, but we'll get to that here in a second. So, um, so something that was a little different about Wednesday is that I was remote, but I was trying to get to Jess as quickly as possible. Um, I'm just going to put RT because I really didn't do much if I'm being completely honest. Okay. And then I'm going to do RT calls. I'm just literally clearly filling the space. Cards. Because I know I didn't do them. Okay, so one thing about this particular day was that I was trying to get to Jeff's as quickly as humanly possible because I was going to spend the night there, obviously, but because the Geminid, Geminide, Geminide, Geminid, Gemini, <laughs> uh, the meteor shower was happening, and they were saying that the best time to view it was starting like after 10 p.m., even better if you clocked it after midnight and you guys I'm gonna tell you that was the coolest thing I've ever seen obviously outside of a planetarium I don't think I've ever seen anything like that if you've had that wonderful experience in your life I'm so happy for you because that was insane that was absolutely magical um I was so excited to get to go and actually we set an alarm for like 1 30 in the morning to get up and go out there and we were out there for about 30 minutes and saw over 20 and then um before it was all over with I saw exactly 28 and the last one was literally me in the car driving home at uh six o'clock seven o'clock in the morning so it really went all the way to dawn which was amazing um it was just absolutely magical so i was really really excited to get to do that um and then i made chili whenever i got out there and then it was time for me to get on the live stream and i would love to find a little white line from Moe to pop in here for that but overall Wednesday was a really low-key day it was just me kind of rushing around so that I could get to Jeff's and get kind of my to-dos done because he was so awesome and totally didn't mind um live stream at 6 p.m. And I'm going to put November flips so I know what I was doing on the live stream. But um, yeah, after that, it was like an early to bed situation. Um, I would love to see if I can find an early to bed. Or maybe I have a critter that's like a... It's a sheep. I know I do. There it is, my little sleepy sheep. Why did I feel like I have them on another sheet? I think I'm thinking of the spring working, um, but I'm going to use this super cute. Little sheep. just to kind of fill the space. And then, like I said, we got up very early. I'm gonna just do it. I don't know what's a better occasion than a meteor shower to use this. 
I don't completely botch this. Yay for not hoarding. Here is your PSA if you needed one. My hair is getting all in the way. Sorry about that. Now I'm worried about this on the back end. Let's see what I can do about this. There we go. I don't know that that's going to 100% help, but it'll help a little bit. And of course my pen's going to skip when I need everything to be super pretty for the sticker. how big that is pet that arrow came out really weird um so yay i finally used a sticker on my page <laughs> i've been like hoarding them obviously like a crazy person um so we got up at 1 30 stayed up for about a half hour and then went back to bed and then when i started we got up about 5 30 ish the second time we really didn't do so well getting back to sleep i mean i'm sure you can imagine that that did not go well um at all um I am gonna get a working emoji that's not remote and I'm also going to I'm gonna do a mm, I'm gonna do a watching swatch if I can find why are all my things everywhere. I mean, I feel like that's normal though. And I feel like you guys are very accustomed to everything being everywhere all at once. I do want to watch that movie though, by the way. It's gotten amazing reviews. Um, I do all the way back to working. Now, obviously you would be able to assume that because of the fact that I delayed on getting things done on Wednesday and kind of pushed them. I'm pretty sure I don't have to explain to you that that meant that I was going to have to work a good bit and be a little bit more focused on Thursday, which was fine. It really was. Um, I was actually pleasantly surprised this past week and I'm definitely holding my breath a bit, but I really thought that work was going to be quite crazy because my boss was getting ready to be out of town um, before the holiday, before our like out of office started um, and pretty much unreachable next week. So I was very nervous that we were just going to have like a whole issue. Um, I also had a client meeting me there that morning. So I was really, really, really nervous about a lot of things that morning and that day in general, but it all actually went off without a hitch. Um, I got quite a bit done, but um, also pushed a good deal of things. Um, I want to do that I actually did a 10 minute project for the first time in a really long time and worked on some filing. Um, I actually powered through really hard on Monday, um, if I'm being completely honest. So that really helps me. Like things are definitely calming down for the year. And I'm really dragging out this to-do list if I'm also being totally honest. So I'm gonna do a watching bar here. And then I'm also going to go ahead and put one here. Okay. Mm, that's going to be really tight. I'm going to give it three. And then I'll do kind of like a little tidy up type of situation. Um, 
what makes the most sense. I really like this little like sweepy girl and I know that here, I feel like I know that it's not just to be used for sweeping, but at the same time, like my brain just kind of auto defaults to that's what it has to mean. Um, so I quite prefer using, there's like a little checklist. Oh, another thing that I had to do on Thursday was actually send Coffee Monster Co. a picture of my bean cards. So I've got to remember to throw that in there. I don't know why I'm pulling them from weird places. Okay. And I think I'm doing this only for symmetry purposes because I've got the workout one up here. And I didn't completely tidy up, so I don't, I did do the workout, which deserved a nice, lovely check mark, but I'm gonna leave that unchecked because I definitely didn't do everything I needed to do in a tidy up sense. started a lot of things. I guess that is kind of like the definition of that is, oh, I've got fuzz flying all over the place. I do feel like maybe that is really the definition of tidy though. That's just me trying to use up that sticker sheet. That's exactly, so yay, I finished another freebie sheet. We're smashing them. Okay, so I feel like this has dried. So I watched, super cute. I've kind of been um, through the snow. Um, I've kind of been trying to watch like new and old simultaneously. Obviously, I feel like that's fine and normal. Um, I'm kind of in the Christmas story binge right now. So I don't know if you guys know this, there's like a billion, <laughs> I feel like, um, Christmas carols. And that's great. That's absolutely great. Um, but I'm not going to watch them back to back to back to back. I'm just not going to do it. And I have a pretty lengthy list of that. I think the Grinch is another one. Obviously Home Alone's in there. I'm admittedly, I'm saving my Home Alone binge for, um, this coming up week because this coming up next week of Christmas, because I've decided what my Christmas present, which obviously you guys are going to be watching this before that comes out, but I've decided that my Christmas present video is going to be Yule related. So I am really, really jazzed about that. Um, but that's not going to happen until next Thursday. And then I'm going to need to print the photos and binge, like scrapbook them on Friday, Saturday before my mom gets here. Like trying to get everything uploaded for actual Christmas day. So I'm hoping everything goes to fruition and that that goes fine. Um, however, um, I am saving them all for that. Just like I did the Santa Clauses. I did them all as like a big binge. I don't know why I put my remote. Honestly, I am going to be totally honest with you guys. I feel like I didn't do jack all for work on Friday. Like, I don't even feel like it should get an emoji or like a super cute sticker. Like, I feel so bad, quote unquote, wasting a sticker on it. I really do. Um, I will go ahead and use, because I'm using a lot of blue. 
but actually that blue looks good. So let's just, cause y'all know me, I don't like to use, and I did actually have a very important phone call that day. So I can't say I didn't work. That's being slightly dramatic. Um, let's be honest first. I feel like I write really weird with this pen, which is probably not helping that it skips. I still couldn't tell you what makes it skip. It's processing tasks that I had to do. And then urgent RTs. And I'm gonna go ahead and put calls and then call with Pam and Citigroup at 11 8. So we had to call a carrier together, which was really exciting for me because it's not something I have to do very often. If ever, like normally, I'm the one calling a carrier on behalf of the client kind of fighting their battle for them but unfortunately this was like a particularly odd incident where that wasn't going to work because um we don't have access and there's a whole lot of a whole lot of rules and regulations when it comes to who can call for um information regarding a client's account um I don't know if you guys knew that um but yeah it was it was really interesting to do and just kind of like be there and you know be her sidekick and help her out um, and just kind of like be a little bit forceful. So that was kind of fun. Um, and then from there, I need to do um, I'm going to do a, another cleaning emoji, but this time I think I want to focus on like dishes. If I've got some that work for that, I feel like I need a new one of these. Oh, I do already have one. Fantastic. Clearly the sweeping ones never get used. Clearly. Um, I'm just gonna do dishes cause that was like an all day battle for real. I started laundry and completely procrastinated and have been procrastinating vacuuming. I think it's just because I vacuumed so much through the pest issue that I literally could live the rest of my life without never seeing a vacuum again. That's not realistic, but it's definitely a reason for my procrastination. Okay. Um... I did start working on updating planners and things, but first I'm going to put in a watching section. Okay. This movie was new. So if you notice, I'm kind of like, well, first of all, I took like a full on like little break here. Um, and then I watched Krampus with Jeff Beauty and the Beast Enchanted Christmas, which I don't know that I had ever seen. Dashing Through the Snow is new this year. And then I watched Candy Cane Lane. Both of those get, get a approval for me personally. I liked them. I'm just gonna do a simple update planners. I am going to go ahead and do log expenses. I don't like that abbreviated. And scan receipts. That's really been the hardest thing to keep up with as I like do a literal ton of shopping right now to get ready for Yule and Christmas and the slumber parties. And um, now Jeff is kind of changing our Christmas plans a little bit, which is freaking me out because I don't know what to buy. Um, so I'm just trying to like breathe it through that. Um, I did get up psychotically early this morning, like very early. Um, so, and I also had a fun coffee this morning. I did make myself a peppermint mocha. So let's 
get back to the holiday stickers again. And we can put some of these away while we do it. I'm so excited to start using a bunch of Christmas stickers next week. And like, I swear I won't need Christmas stickers for the next 6 million years, I feel like. Um, I like the elf ones a little bit. Oh, maybe the penguin because it's like a very wintry wonderland week. Or I could use this one with the tree. And it was a peppermint mocha. I'm going to save that one and just do the penguin because again I feel like it's on brand um I what did I watch oh I watched we're also gonna have boozy cocoa in the morning so I'll put it because I don't like it there it's okay I just want it to be like there. Okay. Um, Last Christmas has um, Amelia Clark. Is that her name? Daenerys Targaryen. Whatever. <laughs> she is in that movie. Um, and I absolutely adored that she was in that. Um, what do I really want to classify? Because I had a lot of errands to run that were like, some were grocery related and some really weren't. Um, so maybe I will do this though. Oh, I've already used that this week. Nope, that made my choice. I'm so weird. Why can't, why can't I just be normal? And I know I've probably done it. I really do. Um, I'm not going to worry so much that I can't put it over here. Because quite honestly, I don't see us doing like too, too much tomorrow. Like, Literally, the plan is to do nothing. So, we're just going to do it like this. Okay. I am going to do... I started at Walmart at literally like seven o'clock. It was crazy. Petco. Kroger. Times two. I went to two different Kroger's and I hate that so much. Oh. Um, I did go to Hobby Lobby finally to get two things that I really needed. I needed a, another um, I'm just gonna put A, E, and V, S. I popped into American Eagle and there was literally no Christmas stuff in there, guys. Like, literally nothing. Like, it looked weird. It was just like winter, but not Christmas. Very odd. And then Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret did have Christmas stuff, but nothing that was like getting me excited. But I did have to go to Hobby Lobby and get my 2024 album finally that I known that I was going to get this whole time. Um, and then I did decide to skip Publix. Um, and then I also needed to get another eight and a half by 11 album because my sticker storage is busting. So I needed to do that really, really bad. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put Johnny's NY pizza in here too. I had a ton of stops today. It was completely crazy. Um, and then 
this gets three lines because it's going to be very long one day. And then I'm going to make the list of all the things that I wanted to do that I didn't really get completely done. Laundry is still in the works, but not completely finished. Dishes are actually done. Once again, kicking the vacuuming. Um, kitchen and bathroom because like I said, I am going to go to Jeff's. Originally, I was not going to leave tonight, but we decided that it would just be better for me to go ahead and be there, um, which is fine. I'm super excited about that. Um, and then we're just going to kind of have like a cozy evening and I'm going to work on updating my planners and, um, I'm going to work on 2024 setup some more because that live stream is going to be this evening. So whenever you're watching this video, um, feel free to hop on over at 6 p.m. Standard, Eastern Standard Time this evening to the to the channel. And we're gonna be hanging out over there doing um, 2024 flip through. So basically I'm gonna show you guys how I'm getting ready for the year without being like in January prep. So like any preliminary things that have nothing to do with January, that's gonna be the next, next week's live stream just to like keep everything clean. Um, but I'm super excited to be on there with you guys nonetheless. Um, I think it'll be super fun. I am not the big, I'll go ahead and be the first person to say, I am not the biggest um, pre-planner when it comes to most of my spreads. It might be as simple as laying some washi down. It might be as simple as doing um, like a habit tracker and stuff like that. But I really don't, I really try to give myself a lot of room. So a lot of what you're gonna see in the 2024 setup is goals I have for the year, where I put those, how I lay those out, any other setups. Like there's a good bit in my ritual planner that's gotten set up, set up for the year. I did work on the budget planner. So every planner got touched a little bit, but it's just not a ton. Um, I just don't, I'm not a bullet journal or anything like that, not to, you know, and I don't, um, have all of my stuff yet because I ordered my Coffee Monster Co. stuff a little bit later. I'm totally fine It doesn't if it doesn't get here in time for those prep videos. I am perfectly capable of looking up um, the color correspondences and making some good decisions on um, plans for that. Um, I am going to do the man who invented... I have an issue with the title of this. <laughs> Um, it's the man who invented Christmas, and it's the story of how Charles Dickens wrote A Christmas Carol. And uh, Dan Stevens, is that his name? Who plays the Beast in the live action Beauty and the Beast with Emma Watson is Charles Dickens in this. And it was actually really good. I was really, really excited. Um, like I said, I didn't think I was going to like the title very much. Um but I really, really did. I'm also going to go ahead and put workout on here. I know Jeff and I will probably watch something this evening, but I really don't know what it's going to be. It could be a myriad of things. And I'm going to leave this day blank because even though I have a rough idea of what we're going to do, which is a whole lot of nothing and eating and drinking, I'm really going to enjoy using that space for memory keeping tomorrow. So you guys are just going to have to be patient and wait until the final flip through in December for me to show you guys what I actually got up to that day. I don't feel like it really necessarily, um, I know Helen cuts her videos short like that from time to time. So it makes me feel better that I can do it, but I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Like I said, when this video goes up at noon, um, it's going to be on the 22nd, 20th, sorry. It's going to be on this day. <laughs> it's that day in your timeline. Um, and we'll be hanging out at six o'clock for a 2024 setup. So I hope to see you guys there. Otherwise, until the next time, if I don't see you tonight on the live stream, I hope you guys all have the merriest, happiest Christmas. Um, again, there will be an upload on Christmas Eve. It's gonna be a Project Life spread for Christmas present. So just kind of some fun things I'm getting up to this particular Christmas season and my thoughts on that. Um, but have a great holiday season, everybody. And I will talk to you guys soon. And until then, enjoy creating your own merry little wonderlands. Bye.